The British Parliament is getting worldwide headlines this morning after an historic vote to allow the creation of babies from the DNA of three people. The controversial procedure is expected to cut the risk of genetic disorders. Mark Phillips is outside Parliament in London where the new rules are moving forward. Mark, good morning to you. Good morning. Well, it was a highly charged debate here. Phrases like designer children and playing God get thrown around. And there are some who fear this is the beginning of a slippery slope toward genetically engineering children. Yesterday may well be remembered as the day the genetic future of our species began. Jamie Metzl is a writer on genetics policy and his words may sound a little overstated. <laughs> but not to Poppy's family. She's almost four and suffers from mitochondrial disease. She can't walk and can barely speak. Her cells don't produce the energy they need for her to develop. Lily, her sister, does not suffer from the disease, but may carry the genetic defect. The procedure would help mothers whose eggs have a healthy nucleus but are surrounded by defective mitochondria, the little batteries that power cells. That nucleus is transferred to a donor egg with healthy mitochondria. An embryo produced with that hybrid egg would contain DNA from the mother and the father, plus a tiny amount from the egg donor. It's this three-parent child that poses the ethical dilemma. But not to Poppy's family. It means the girls, Lily certainly, and Poppy if she lives to reproductive age, could have children who don't have the disease. It's, it's inherited. It will pass down the, the female line. So to, to give them a choice when they come to the age of, of wanting, thinking about children, um, an option of it, of, of having a healthy child. Science won the moral argument in Britain, but in the U.S. the discussion gets political. It's very, very difficult to have these kinds of conversations in the United States because we have the big divide between the right, so-called right to choice and the so-called uh, right to life that we very, very quickly get caught up in national politics that are in some ways bigger than the issue of mitochondrial transfer. Now, it's important to say that the DNA of the so-called third parent uh, in the egg would not affect the characteristics of the child. It would, however, Nora, give that kid a chance to have a normal and healthy life. An important distinction, Mark. Thank you so much.